Hi Sagittarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of May 1st to May 7th, 2023? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Sagittarius, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right. Let's take a look at some general love messages for you with this Oracle card deck. Here we go. Spirit angels and guides, please show me what's going on between Sagittarius and their person for this week. What's going on between Sagittarius and their person, whoever it is that Sagittarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. All right, here we go. What's going on between Sagittarius and their person for this week? It says watching you, spying on you, being sneaky, trying to see if you're with someone else. Okay, someone is watching you or you're watching someone. Could be um, an air sign that you're connecting to, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. All right, tell me more. What's going on between Sagittarius and their person this week? It says understanding, talking things out, hearing one another, compromising. Okay, someone feels like you two are not on the same page with each other. They want to talk thing. They want to talk things out with you. They want to find some some common ground here with you. Looks like they want to balance things out. <clears throat> All right, one more card here. What's going on between Sagittarius and their person? One more card. What's going on? It says fall season. This is the this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. Your mind fall season. Hmm. Okay. Some of you are going, going to have a new relationship in fall, either with this person or with somebody else. If you're in separation, maybe it's with this person that you um, have a new beginning or with someone else. At the bottom of the deck, it says club, night out with friends, having fun, but I can't wait to see you. Okay, so for some of you, this person can't stop thinking about you. Um, even when they're having fun or um, doing other stuff, they're, they get distracted thinking about you. All right, here we go. Let's look at the, the tarot cards. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of Sagittarius in regards to love for this week. What is Sagittarius's energy in regards to love and in regards to their person, whoever they're connecting to and dealing with in love for this week? What is Sagittarius's energy? All right, here we go. First card we have for you, Sagittarius, is the Nine of Wands the judgment card and the chariot card at the bottom ace of cups hmm. someone wants a second chance that's at the bottom six of cups a soulmate connection hierophant queen of wands the star queen of swords okay here it is king of wands 
Ten of Cups. Okay, so you two are not on the same page with each other. Yeah, that's evident here. There is a big disagreement here between you and this person. A disagreement about what? That's what I want to find out. Ace of Cups, Nine of Swords, Three of Cups, Five of Wands. There it is. There could be a disagreement here with the Five of Wands due to a third party. Someone feels like there is divided loyalties. Two of Cups, okay. Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, Queen of Cups. Tower, three of wands. Yeah, there's a third party situation very strong here. Someone refusing or someone not refusing to be in a relationship or in a commitment um, or someone. Yeah, someone not making the decision to settle down. What happened here with the Three of Swords and the Tower? We're going to figure that out. All right, let me clean this up. I just want to, I want to clarify this Five of Swords to see what's going on. You can go, you can stay. All right, let me do a little clarification just to get the full picture here. What's going on with this Five of Swords, Spirit? What's the reason of this Five of Swords energy? Why the Five of Swords? Why is the Five of Swords energy here between Sagittarius and this person? Someone feels like the other person is playing games with them, playing games with their heart. The Magician, the Sun, and the Justice card. Ooh, this is like manipulation for sure. Someone is trying to get their way. They're trying to manipulate the other person to do what they want or to see things their way. But the but someone here is not in agreement. There's a lot of relationship energy here for sure. It looks like you two are like in a commitment or in a marriage. It feels like that. It feels like you two are in a marriage. You two might fight like married people. You know, I'm getting that energy. Like, you two might argue and fight as if you were married to each other. Some of you are married to each other. Yeah, I'm getting that, that you fight like married couples. Hmm. All right, let's clarify your energy. What's going on with the Nine of Wands in Sagittarius's energy spirit? Why is the Nine of Wands Sagittarius's energy towards this person, towards this connection for this week? The Nine of Swords, okay. You're conflicted. Tell me about the Judgment card. Why is Sagittarius's energy the Judgment card? Three of Pentacles, why the Chariot? The Hierophant again. Keeps showing up. This card, this energy keeps showing up like three times. Something about marriage. Something about marriage. But you two look like you're together. It looks like there's a strong connection between you and this person. It, it looks like a marriage. Or if it's not a marriage, it's like a marriage. Okay. This person feels like um, whoever you're dealing with, they feel like you and them are having uh, uh, issues that you always have. Yeah, it looks like there's a repetitive cycle or like a repetitive pattern between you and this person. Like you're always having the same argument. You're always having the same issues.
Mm -hmm. But we have the Three of Swords and the Tower card. So maybe this time around, things really, you know, became serious. Like things really fell apart. With the Three of Swords and the Tower, things really, really fell apart this time around. Yes, maybe it's the same, the same argument as always, or the same issue or problems as always, except that this time, this time is different. This time, I feel like you put your foot down, or this person put their foot down. Roles can be reversed. Because I feel like normally there's an energy of you two of you two normally having conflict with each other, but then getting getting back together, and then you have conflict again, and then you get back together again. And that's the normal. That's what's normal here. That's the routine. Except that this time around, something happened different differently and what what is that spirit tell me about that three of swords and the tower energy tell me about the three of swords and the tower energy oh okay yeah thank you spirit yeah yeah this that's what i'm saying i feel like someone put their foot down here like with the magician the sun and the justice card Someone said no more. This isn't fair with the justice card. This isn't fair. And someone took back their power with the sun card and the magician card and someone put their foot down. <clears throat> Tell me about the three of swords and the tower. The moon. Wow, this was ugly. The moon, the three of swords, and the tower, that's, that's ugly. That's toxic, actually. Okay. Yeah, it's like emotions reached a climax, you know? The moon is like emotions, and the tower is like um, a, a climactic point, a climax. Emotions reached an all-time high. And things just exploded here between you and this person. Anything else about this Three of Swords and the Tower? What happened here, Spirit? What happened with the Three of Swords and the Tower? Well, we have the Seven of Cups. Someone might have had their options open, or I think I said this already, someone had divided loyalties with the Seven of Cups. Someone was being fickle, wishy-washy, shady with the Moon and the Seven of Cups. Deceptive. Someone was lying, or at least that's what... Um, that's what you felt from this person. You felt like this person was lying to you, was you know keeping secrets, being wishy-washy, being evasive. Being evasive, um, being manipulative. You felt like this person had divided loyalties. You felt like they were playing games playing head games and mind games with the Five of Swords. And again, with the, look at this combination, Lord. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that, the Tower, Magician, the Sun, and the Justice card. It's like someone had enough, someone had enough. Someone said, it. I'm tired of um, giving you the benefit of the doubt, or I'm tired of um, giving you chance after chance. I'm tired of putting your needs above my needs. I'm tired of like compensating for you. 
So I feel like someone just decided to end the relationship here, end the connection. But again, it does feel like an energy of something that like always happens, except that this time around, someone had enough, you know? All right, I need to clean this up. Let's go to, let's, let's look at your person now. Um, we'll see if these cards come back up or not. I want to keep this. Yeah, I want to keep that. I'll keep that. All right. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of the person Sagittarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. the energy of the person Sagittarius is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. Knight of Swords, King of Swords, Nine of Swords at the bottom, Judgments. We also have the Queen of Wands here. Man, this looks ugly. You two had some sort of ugly fight, ugly arguments. It, look, it just looks like something like blew up here, Ex exploded. All right, let's see. Knight of Swords, King of Swords, Nine of Swords. Judgments. Hmm. I told you, someone, somebody put their foot down here with the King of Swords energy. It looks like someone's like really good with their words. They're really good with their words. Someone can, someone's like a salesman here. Someone's really good at like selling a dream or like selling a fantasy. Feels like that. Judgments and the Nine of Cups, Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. I don't see how this is going to be fixed or resolved. Like, I really feel like someone is not joking here. Someone is not joking here. Someone's serious. Like, someone's, like, tired. Like, someone's tired of the excuses. Seven of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Someone's tired of the excuses or of the... The same thing over and over again with the Eight of Pentacles. Someone is tired of going through the same thing over and over again. Yeah, I'm getting like a lot of anger here. Like, this is like someone who's pissed off. Nine of Cups and the Seven of Wands. This person's pissed off. I don't know who this person is, Sagittarius. I don't know if this is you or your person. Just fit the roles how they, how they fit for you. Yeah, someone's pissed off. Hmm. And I feel like um, someone's like not willing to have a second chance here or like to repeat something again with the judgment card. Yeah. And someone's being very vocal about that also. Yeah, someone's being vocal about the fact that they're they're not willing to put up with this anymore, whatever this is. Yeah, this keeps showing up, Sagittarius. There's a lot of um there's a lot of fights, arguments, conflict between you and this person and it looks like it doesn't get any better. It just keeps getting worse and worse. You know? 
It just keeps getting worse and worse here. I also feel like there's a lot of defensiveness on both sides, you know? I feel like you're defensive and they're defensive type of energy. Ace of Swords, the Hermit, the Devil, the Lovers, Two of Wands. Someone is feeling defeated also. Someone is feeling like powerless. Yeah, someone, okay, that's the Hermit card. Yeah, someone's trying to figure out, now what do I do? Like, this is not the routine, you know? This is not the routine. This is not how things go between us. You know, I feel like things are changing now. Things took a dramatic turn, a dramatic shift. And I feel like someone is confused about what to do next. Okay, let me clarify this energy. All right, what's going on here? Let's see. What's the Knight of Swords spirit? Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords energy. The King of Cups. Okay. Tell me about the King of Swords. The Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. The Strength card. The World card. Yeah, someone is scared to lose the other person. Look at the Five of Wands again. Five of Wands. Look at the devil here, five of wands, nine of pentacles, queen of cups, ace of cups, the devil, four of cups. Okay, interesting. Someone got outsmarted here. Yeah, that's what happened. Somebody got outsmarted. Somebody got played with their own game. Hmm. It was unexpected. Someone didn't expect to get played with their own game. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely an energy of someone wanting to apologize, wanting to make things right, wanting to like... Like, wait a second, can can we talk about this? Can we, yeah, understanding here. This card, um, talking, talking things out, hearing one another, compromising, like, wait a second, let's just have a conversation. Let's just talk about this, you know? Like, it doesn't have to get go this far. But someone is like, you know, someone has turned cold, and it's like they're not willing. Someone's not willing to have any more conversations about anything. Let's see how you feel, Sagittarius. Maybe I can figure out who is who here because I don't know. No idea. <clears throat> yeah, how does Sagittarius feel about this person, Spirit? What are Sagittarius' feelings for this person, please? Hmm. What are Sagittarius' feelings for this person? The devil, okay. The eight of swords. You see it's toxic here. And the Three of Swords, yeah. There's a lot of toxic energy here. Look at that, the Devil and the Three of Swords. Yeah, there's, there's an unhealthy, back and forth, unstable relationship going on between you and this person. 
third party situation might be an issue here, might be a factor. Let me clarify your feelings. Hmm. I do want to clarify your feelings. Let's see, spirit angels and, and guys, why is this person, why is, um, why is this Sagittarius's feelings for this person? Clarify Sagittarius's feelings, please. You don't know what to do. You feel powerless. You feel helpless. You feel stuck. Hmm. It doesn't look like you're the one who put your foot down, Sagittarius. It looks like your person put their foot down. Um, roles can be reversed because I can already tell that's going to happen here. I can already tell that's going to happen, but this doesn't make me feel like you're the one who put your foot down. This makes me feel like it's the other person who put their foot down. Clarify um, Sagittarius' feelings. For this person. Ace of Swords. Eight of Swords again. And the Four of Pentacles. And the Two of Wands. Okay. Lovers. High Priestess. Hierophant. And the Moon. Hmm. Okay, so it's like you don't know what to do, you don't want you don't know what to say. Um, yeah, Sagittarius, I don't know what to tell you. It's it's coming up as it's as as if it's you, but like I said, flip it. But um if this is your person, then just take it as I'm reading your person here. Um I'm just going to call it as you, though, since I, I asked for Sagittarius. But it does look like you don't know what to do or you don't know what to say with the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Like, you feel like anything you say is wrong. Anything you say is wrong. Anything and everything you say is wrong. Like, you can't win, you know? You can't win with this person. They're always putting up a fight. Let's just see how your person feels so that you can flip the roles just in case. How does this person feel about Sagittarius? How does this person feel about Sagittarius spirit? The person Sagittarius is dealing with here in love. How do they feel about Sagittarius? Ten of Pentacles? The Devil, again, and the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands. Look at the way they're looking at you. Wow. Knight of, oh my Lord, look at that. Look at this energy. This is like an energy of like, get away from me, Sagittarius. Get away. Get away. Don't even think about it. Knight of Wands, Seven of Wands, um, Wheel of Fortune, Page of Swords, and the World card. This is like an energy of, don't even think about it, Sagittarius, to get anywhere near me. I'm watching you with the Page of Swords. I'm watching you like a hawk. Don't waste your time. Don't bother playing games with me because I already know what you're all about. I already know how you operate and it's not going to work this time around. So don't even think about getting near me. Stay far away. Far, far away. Hmm. Yeah, this is how they're looking at you. Look at that. This is the card of Sagittarius, the Knight of Wands, and the Devil. They feel like you're toxic. 
Or you, Sagittarius, you flip, ro flip the roles. You feel like this person is toxic and you feel like you don't want this person to get anywhere near you. Like you're looking at them like they're the plague. Like they're a virus, you know, like they're toxic. You're looking at them like they just can't help it. Like they just can't help being a player. They just can't help being a liar or a manipulator. They just, it's in their DNA. They can't help it. Oh my God. What a reading. So with the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles, um, yeah, if this is you, then you feel like this person, um, they gave you the bare minimum. They always gave you the bare minimum. You gave the most with the Ten of Pentacles, and this person just constantly gave you the bare minimum. You felt like you were the one carrying this relationship all on your own. You were the one putting in the work, putting in the effort. And this person just benefited from all your work. Okay. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to stop the reading here. I hope this made sense to you. This reading was a mess, but I hope you understood the, the reading. Um, I am going to continue now in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at your person, and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions? And also, what actions will they, be, will they be taking towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.